Hello, and we are at the Establishment of Objective section of the Replenish the Earth Ministry Life Cycle, um, the Growth Book. And so we, we started off uh, this discussion talking about the learning process and the establishment of identity, knowing who you are. Then once your, sta once your identity is established, then the establishment of objective um, comes to play. And so with the establishment of objective, we read 1 Chronicles 16, verse 31 to 33. I have uh, three other scriptures there. And the purpose for us having these scriptures is just to get you to have a sense of how does a person establish an objective within a systematic fashion. And in this particular example, it's going to be systemized within an organizational structure. In this part of the book, we're looking at examples of how a person can actually set up a music and arts administration within an organizational structure. And then later on in the other uh, lessons, we'll talk about how a person can actually take ministry out of the gate. Okay, so from here, we will move and jump down to uh, this section. That says, before beginning a ministry within an organization, the Minister of Music needs to have a clear understanding of the organizational's overall mission and objective, find out what the leader's vision and purpose is for the department, and then create a mission, vision, and purpose statement that fits within the current organizational structure. Okay, now I can actually take this example and use it outside or externally outside of an organizational structure. Let's say, for example, this is your business well if it's your business then you would if you have like a performing arts business or a music school an art school you would create a mission a vision and a purpose statement that identifies what it is that you are doing within your organizational structure and so what I'm implying is as a good steward if you have been placed over a ministry or an organization, a ministry within an organization, it behooves you to have an accountability structure that looks at um, objective, vision, purpose, and the measuring tools that assess how successful you are. And it's, it behooves you to do this before you even have anything to do with. Um, any type of ministry objective even outside of the organization or within an organization so you have to get clear within yourself once you identify who you are and whose you are in Christ you have to get clear with what it is that you want to contribute to an existing organizational structure and that gets set forth in the mission and vision and purpose statement all right um, within that it is possible to have a go ye mindset within a system that that um, that maximizes the evangelical anointing and this can happen both inside an organizational structure and outside of an organizational structure as an evangelist it's important to have a home church and it's a place where people can actually receive the word and its instruction to rebuke correct and reprove um, it's a place where you are paying tithes and it's also a place that, that you can also report on your ministry pro progress. Um, we'll call this an accountability system setup. So it's important for uh, anybody that's evangelizing on behalf of a ministry to have some sense of accountability with the person, uh, the person or the group with which they're ministering to represent. All right? So within the establishment of the objective, an example of a reporting structure is one that counts the number of salvation, sanctification, and um, spirit-filled experiences that have occurred as a result of your ministry. If there is healing and various types of deliverances that have occurred. Um, any testimonials, they're good to keep. Right? And finally, it's your responsibility to position yourself to be a receiver of God's word and its profitability. And then... You need to be ready to be positioned by God in the harvest field. Your ministry potential needs to be under management and administration. You can do a self-managed administration or through the assistance of a person or a management group. 
you can accomplish the objectives of music and arts ministry. And with that, we're going to shift to our final set of questions that deal with um, being instant in season and out of season. So the first question is, how does being instant in season and out of season relate to the life cycle of ministry? Being instant in season and out of season. What does it mean? And how does it relate to the life cycle of ministry? Think of all the aspects of a life cycle. How does a person be instant in season all throughout that time period? And then, two, what stage can you identify within your ministry, within the ministry life cycle? What can you, can you, where can you identify yourself? Where are you? And this is going to be important as we venture on to the next topics. What evidence can you provide based on your understanding about the life cycle that identifies where you are in it? All right, I look forward to see what you have.